Hello everybody, my name is Layla Khan and thank you for joining me today on the Limbic System. Okay, the first thing that you need to know is the, that the Limbic System is the portion of the brain that deals with three key functions. You've got emotions, memories, and arousal, which is stimulation. Right? Okay. Now let's move on to our main thing, the mnemonic. You've got last October, every hero failed, so a new heroic made appearance. Last October, every hero failed, so a new hero made appearance right so the first thing let's start with the cortical structure so you need to know from last to fail these structures are cortical structures all right cortical structures okay now we can move on to our letters which is L O E H F S A N H M A. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's start with naming them. Limbic lobe. Ovo olfactory system. E for enterorhinal cortex. H for hippocampus. F for the fornix. S for septal nuclei. A for amygdala. N for nucleus. Accumbens, H for the hypothalamus, M for the mammillary body, and A for the anterior nucleus of the Okay, now let's move on to the functions of these structures. Quick change in marker. So the limbic lobe, if you have, I'm going to tick it because if you have watched my last video, you'll know the function of the limbic lobe. If not, please hop onto my last video. It's not a very long one. And the, the mnemonic for that one was, can good people's prayer destroy fate's coming rage? So I'm going to take that one. The olfactory system is closely connected to the amygdala and the hippocampus and it's for the recollection of odours. You'd know because the cranial nerves, if you know the cranial nerves, um, olfactory is for the smell. So we go with recollection of odours. For the entorhinal cortex, you've got the memory and the associated components. I'm just going to go with memory. For the hippocampus, you've got the consolidation of new memories. I'm going to write all of that. The consolidation of new memories. Not really got the best time writing, so excuse me. Um, the fornix is a white matter structure and it connects the hippocampus to the mammillary bodies, which are here, and the septal nuclei, which is here. Okay, next is the septal nuclei, which is in front of the lamina terminalis, and it is the pleasure zone.
The amygdala is within the temporal lobes and it's for the emotional processes. I'm just going to write emotions. The nucleus accumbens is involved in reward, pleasure, reward, pleasure, and addiction. The hypothalamus is the center for the entire limbic system, so it's the big guy here, right? It regulates the autonomic processes. Go away, pebbles. Okay, then we've got um, the mammillary bodies, but before we move on to that, you need to know three things for the hypothalamus because it's the center, it's got lots of connections. So, the first one is it's connected to the frontal lobes, to the septal nuclei, to the brainstem reticular formations by the medial forebrain bundle. Number two, it's connected to the hippocampus via the fornix. And number three, it's connected to the hypothalamus via the mammillothalamic fasciculus. The mammillothalamic fasciculus. Right? Okay, so. Uh, one more thing you should know that the limbic system only omits dopaminergic projections. All right, so dopaminergic projections. There we go. So moving on to the mammillary bodies, it's a part of the hypothalamus, and it receives from the hippocampus, obviously via the fornix, and projects it to the thalamus via the mammillothalamic fasciculus. All right. The anterior nucleus of the thalamus is for memory processing. I'm just going to write memories. And it receives from the mammillary bodies through the mammillothalamic. Right? So mammillary bodies. That's it for the limbic system. There are a lot of structures, but I hope that made it a bit easy for you. All the structures, all the functions, and the names of the pathways, and the names of the tracts, sorry. And yeah, that should be just about. Here's a picture of the limbic system. I hope it helps you understand the positioning of the structures. Here you can see the cingulate gyrus, which as you remember is a part of the limbic lobe. You can see the fornix, the mammillary body, the amygdala, the hippocampus, the thalamus. In the thalamus we have the anterior nucleus of the thalamus. You've got the hypothalamus as well. So these are the important structures. If you like this video and if you found, if you found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want me to do videos on other topics or subjects or anything in particular you could comment below or you could send me an email and I'd try my best to do so. Um hope you like this one. Thank you. Take care.